Okay, a little update on our circuit and how it's going. Third day today. Uh, about another two hours and we've done exactly three days on that one battery. This is the second charge battery. As you can see our little LED is still going quite fine. The way I run the charge batteries down is simply in one of the solar garden lights, like so. Um, I know from a full charge during the day that these will run at about four and a half, for about four and a half hours, and that is charged by the solar cell. The first run battery ran it for about three hours forty minutes, and then it stopped. Um, so not quite as long as a battery charged by the sun. However, we used very little power from the battery to charge it. The bigger circuit I made using the bigger coil, just using one of the small ones as a trigger, and I used a um, 2N2955, or a TIP2955 should I say, and PNP transistor, and I ran it off a cap. Now it's a 25 farad cap, had two volts in it, and it ran for about four hours, so not too bad, but nothing like that circuit. Uh, it's hungry. This one's using probably about one and a half milliamps, as opposed to that one's 500 microamps, uh, which I can adjust simply by moving the coil away from it or close to it. Okay, so we've been keeping some numbers on it now. Uh, last night, which was Monday night at 9.20pm, I started the second charge battery. Our run battery started at 1.219 volts, and our charge battery started at 0.749 volts. So it's uh, fairly well flattened out. Like I said, the garden light will switch off as soon as it drops to about 0.74 volts. So that's how we're um, discharging our charge batteries. This morning, which was Tuesday morning, our run battery is at 1.212 volts. So you can see we dropped a bit over there, 0 0.007 of a volt overnight, and our charge battery came to 1.103 volts. When I got home this afternoon, 5.10pm, my run battery had gone back up to 1.220 volts from our 212 and our charge is now, well it was at 1.260, it's now at 1.263 and our run battery is still on 1.220. So seeing the run battery drop down overnight and then go back up during the day, I would suggest that um, iron was pretty spot on in regards to temperature. The warmer the battery uh, becomes is when it seems to start charging itself back up. The charge battery, however, doesn't really seem to matter whether it's hot or cold. It just keeps on charging. So that's what we have at the moment. Now there's one thing we found out with this combination um, that Itsu came across was both his batteries were uh, running down, or his run battery was running down fairly quick, his charge battery was going up very slow. He switched to the 1N4004 diode and last I heard his uh, run battery had slowed down on its decrease in voltage and his charge battery has started going up at a decent rate. So um, I have tried other diodes here, the 4007, 4001, a couple of Scotty Gaia diodes and nothing seems to work as good as the 4004. So that's my little update and um, I'm going to pull this battery out soon, put it in our little solar light, see how it goes, as in um, a run time, and I'll take the flat one which I have here, and pop that back in 
there and we'll charge that one up. See how we go. It's um, a very efficient little circuit. The LED is not bright, but it is certainly there. So uh, we'll um, keep you up to date on its progress. Cheers guys.